Okay, we'll open up for questions right here in the middle in the first row. For both of you guys, I mean, what did it mean to your team to see Steven, you know, get himself ready to play even though he wasn't feeling well and, and pitch for you guys? Uh, it's huge, you know. I think, uh, you know, this time of year you can't feel bad for yourself. You can't, you know, um, you know, make excuses. And he didn't make excuses today, and he came out there and threw a great game for us. It was, you know, unbelievable, and uh, we really needed it. Yeah. You're on the right, first row. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My head, Michael. No, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better off. <laughs> Michael, can you, can you recall the last time that you had a mid at bat pitching change? Um, and if so, who was that? And what were you thinking today when they stopped 1 0 and brought in Davis? I don't remember the last time uh, after they brought in Davis. I tried to just start the bat, be at bat over. Just go up there like you know, I'm starting against Davis. Go through my routine, things like that. Uh, watch a little video before I went out there, so felt good once I stepped back in. Dan, second row. Michael, what do you remember about the moments leading up to the swing that generated the grand slam, and the moments after the swing? Uh, leading up to it, I felt pretty good on the ball. I fouled off um, the at bat before I kind of got caught thinking with the pitcher, guessing a little bit. So, you know, I tried to stick with my approach right there and just get another pitch out over. Um, and then afterwards, I, when I was kind of numb, just running around the bases, I was honestly, I didn't think it was going to get out the way the wind was blowing in. Mark, second row. Just for, uh, for both of you guys, once you saw Steven take the mound tonight, get through that first inning, was there a point that you thought, Okay, he's good to go. We've got the full Strasburg tonight. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I I have no idea how sick he was. I didn't wasn't aware of it, you know. So um, once he took the mound, I figured he'd be good to go for as long as he needed. I was just hoping he'd get, you know, whoever came up to bat out. And um, you know, I think uh, for me, I was just kind of consumed with, you know, the next thing as opposed to I guess how he was feeling. But uh, just wanted to win. Yeah, I felt pretty good about him before the game. I got to see him uh, go through his routine and things like that. And, uh, you know, he seemed to be in a good spot. It looked like he was feeling pretty good. So, uh, you know, we had normal Strasburg today. Far left here. To both of you, uh, there's a lot of pressure on both teams in a deciding game. Is there a little more on the Nationals because you have not taken the next step? I've kind of said this all years. I don't believe in that because it's a different team every year. You play different teams, different players, trades, free agents, whatever it may be. We didn't play the Cubs last year, that, you know, so uh, who knows what happened if we did or didn't. You know, it doesn't really matter. So, you know, for me, I, I, I don't believe in it. Just whoever plays better, whoever executes more, we're going to move on. Yeah, um, no, I agree with Trey. It's, once you get out there, that, that stuff doesn't really matter. What we did last year, doesn't help or hurt us once we're in between the lines. So uh, we'll just go out there and, and play our game. Michael, you said that uh, you had watched some, some video um, on Davis. Was it a specific pitch or location that you were looking for? And you know, obviously getting the ball in the air was probably not the most likely thing today, hitting a grand slam. Uh, was that what you were trying to do, or, or what was your thought process going through that? Uh, it wasn't so much a pitch or a location. Uh, for me, it's just getting a pitch in the strike zone. A lot of times I can be a little too aggressive, so just trying to slow myself down, obviously watching video, getting an idea of all the pitches he has and uh, kind of see what they're doing. And then once I got in there, just trying to find the baseball and uh, you know, get a pitch in the zone. Front row here, in the middle. For, for Trey, I mean, it, maybe relief is the wrong word, but how did you feel getting that hit and getting kind of on the board in this series, running the bases and scoring? You know, I felt I felt good because you know I'm at the top of the lineup to get on base, you know, kind of start things, and um, I haven't done a good job of that this series. And um, to have one fall felt good, and try to get the ball rolling. You know, I think uh, more people on base, the better it is for us. So uh, I would like to get over there a little bit more. Take a few more from these guys right here, Dan on the right. Overall, this is a question that only the two of you can answer, but how, how do you specifically feel confidence-wise heading back to D.C. for a decisive Game 5? I think as a team, we feel good. Uh, you know, we 
talked a little bit before the game, just taking it one game at a time. And obviously, today was a necessary step to take it back to D.C. Um, felt like this game gave us a little energy. So going back, just look to have another quality game. Yeah, for me, I think the uh, momentum is huge. You know, I think uh, you know last year the Dodgers kind of did it to us, and hoping that kind of feels the same way this year as we got that momentum going back home and um, kind of keep it rolling. I think you know from a standpoint of individuals, we've got a lot of experience and um, a lot of talent, and I think that that helps kind of take some pressure off. And um, you know, hopefully we can go out there tomorrow and um, kind of play the same way we did today. First row here on the left. Yeah, so uh, for both of you, uh, as, as strong as Strauss was, he punctuated it in the seventh with striking out the side, put him up to like 106 pitches, which is quite a lot given what he was going through. Curious to know when you guys got back in the dugout after that, that seventh inning, was there, did you guys have any words with him? Was there any exchange? What was the reaction like in the dugout to that? Um, I honestly didn't say anything to him after until, or I didn't talk to him until after the game. Um, you know, he was still talking to Maddox and things like that, coming down, kind of debriefing after the game. I mean, he looked good today, so I mean, it's a positive uh, positive game for him. And the pitch count, I don't think, is really a big deal. I mean, those guys come out at 106, 110, and I think every time they want the ball and want to keep throwing. So I don't think it's a, a huge deal for us. Yeah, for me, I, I try not to talk to the pitcher too much. Um, for the most part, I feel like they're all locked in. They're kind of their own world and let them do their own thing. But, um, you know, for me, I, I guess I forgot him being sick, but I was wondering if he's going to come out again. You know, um, he was pitching that good. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't put anything past our guys. Like he said, they, they want the ball and uh, they'll continue to throw until, you know, Dusty comes and gets them. And you know, I think that's what makes them special as their competitors. Okay, guys. Okay, thank you, guys.